Hey, what's up guys? John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Geist 2 plugin from F Expansion. It's a great drum sampler, one of my favorite plugins. And specifically, we're going to be looking at how we set up the audio routing for this plugin. There's a lot of options with this. Uh, there's routing options from within Reaper, and there's routing options from within the plugin itself. Let's just start off by dragging it in as a virtual instrument. And we're going to click no on the routing confirmation window. Instead of having Reaper set up 32 tracks for us, we're going to do it manually and we're going to get it right uh, the way that we like. So click no. It is better to do it exactly how you like, the exact workflow that you're going to be using. So here's Geist plugin interface. Just briefly, if you are new to Geist, this is the step sequencer for engine one. The highlighted engine here is the one that's being used. An engine means sound engine. It's it's our sampler. It is our uh, set of effects for the the samples that are playing there. We can have up to eight layers per pad, 64 pads per engine. We can divide up our sounds any way we want. We can have drums on engine one. We can have bass on engine two. We can have chords on en engine three. We can have all of those on one engine. Really, it's up to your personal workflow. Um, I'm just going to load in a demo project just so we get some sounds going. Eight engines in this. Each one has patterns built up already. If we go over to the pad mixer, all the pads within the engine are going to the parent, which means they're going to the engine mixer, the track channels here in the engine mixer, the global mixer. If we look here where it says parent, we can click on this and we can choose a different output. So master is the default output that all of the global, uh, that all the engines go out to, which means that it's just going to go out to this track in Reaper. If we choose another output at this point, it's not going to go anywhere. We're not routing uh, anything in Reaper where we can monitor these other outputs. So Geist has a master output. It has 32 stereo sub outputs, and it has four auxiliary sends. Each pad can go to those auxiliary sends, and we can use those auxiliary sends for reverbs and delays, uh, parallel compression, anything we want, any effects that we want in parallel, uh, and we want to share throughout all the engines, um, all the pads we can use those sends. Uh, let's say we have a kick drum on pad one and we want to uh, send it to a reverb. We would just click on the sends button in Geist Mixer and then turn up the send by dragging. Simple as that. And when we do that, it ends up over here coming up on this output. And again, that's routed to the master. So we're going to have to set up quite a bit of stuff manually, but it'll be worth it in the end. Okay. so. Now in Reaper, we need to set up this track so that it has more than just a stereo output. I'm going to click on the routing button and go to track channels and change this to, uh, we can do 24 here. It should be more than enough. Okay, so now it's up to you whether you want to route individual pads for an engine or you want to route your engines to Reaper. For this example, we're going to route the eight engines out of Geist into tracks in Reaper. You could do this for individual pads if you want, um, or groups of pads or anything like that, whatever works for you. So we need to insert tracks for Geist to send into. Going to right click and choose insert multiple tracks, enter 11. Because this is a 24 channel track, we already have two outputs used. We're going to add in 11 more tracks to get us 22 additional outputs. Going to name this Geist 2 and it's going to add in a number after that. So we have tracks Geist 2 number 1 up to Geist 2 number 11. Okay, so we're going to open up the routing window for Geist master track and we're going to set up new sends to all other tracks. So we can use this option here, add sends to all tracks. Now that's going to send from this track into each one of these tracks. By default, they have 
uh, the correct settings except for the track channels, the output channels of this track need to be assigned manually. And that's a tedious, annoying part. But once again, we set this up once and it's right. It set it at zero dB or unity gain, and it's a pre-fader send. I have set that up in my Reaper preferences under project and track sends, zero and pre-fader. And I did that just for, uh, basically just for setting up this template because otherwise it's more things that we have to change. After we set up this template, I'd probably change that back to my default, which would be post fader and minus six. That's what I like. Do whatever you like. Okay, so the first output is going to be three and four. So this track's output three and four goes to Geist sub output number one. And it is very easy to go through this and make a mistake and miss one. So be very careful here. Not that it's the end of the world if you get it wrong, but <laughs> you might have to start over and it takes even longer. Um, guess how many times I've messed it up while recording this video. And finally, Geist 11 gets the last set of outputs, 23 and 24. So now back to Geist. If we don't assign any outputs in the pad mixer, it by default goes to the parent, which goes to the global mixer section, and it goes to whatever uh, engine it is. Again, if we don't assign anything different, it's going to the master track. So this track here is whatever we don't route within Geist. It's just going to get those tracks by default. And that means everything is going out this track right now. If we assign a sub output to any of these engines, such as sub output one for engine one, sub out two for engine two, sub out three for engine three, etc. It's going to come up on these tracks here. So let's hit play. We can solo any of these now. We just have to go through and finish the routing and we are done. We'll do sub output nine for the auxiliary outputs, nine, 10, and 11. We could have these going to the master or we could have them as individual outputs. Just for this demo, let's do, um, so this is Geist two, aux one, aux two, Again, you can have up to 64 outputs, so you can really customize this, get it exactly how you want, as simple or complicated as you need. And now we're going to save this as a template and save all of this time the next time we want to use Geist. So one more track to make a folder. I'm just going to name this one plugin. This will be our folder track. Let's move it up to the first. And now we just click on this folder button that routes all of these individual tracks and the master track through this track. And now this one can be muted. All those tracks will turn off. We won't hear anything from Geist. We can add effects to this as a whole. We could, of course, route into other tracks for uh, reverbs. Inside Reaper, we can add in effects on any of these engine outputs, all that kind of stuff. So let's say this is our template that we want to save. I'm going to right click on the track the folder track, save tracks as template. I'm going to put it into my instruments folder and we'll call this Geist 2 and I don't know, template. So now we have everything set up and we can delete all the tracks, go to insert tracks from template, instruments, and choose our Geist 2, where is it? Geist 2 template. That's the one we just made. Click on that. Everything comes up. We've got our plugin. That song is still loaded. And all the routing is still there. Yep. All the routing's still there. Hit play. 
Everything's how we left it, works perfectly. So once again, set this up the way you like, the way that you work. If you only use one engine, you can go ahead and just set up your different pad outputs for uh, that engine. Maybe give yourself four more tracks for the auxiliary outputs. You can even set this up with your favorite sets of samples already loaded. Save yourself a lot of time uh, when you just want to be creative. You don't want to worry about track routing or anything like that. Basically hit record and start playing. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.